Now, national players Kevon Lambert and Dane Kelly have come out in defense of the United Soccer League. This following a statement by Reggae Boys team manager Roy Simpson last November that the league is not better than the Red Stripe Premier League. Simon Preston has that story. Our players too have to understand that if we're going to be world beaters and, and world competitors, the USL really not going to cut it. Though, because I personally believe that the USL is not as good as our Premier League. They are better in terms of infrastructure and finances, but I think in terms of the quality that we have here, the USL is not as good. That was team manager of the Reggae Boys, Roy Simpson, speaking with TVJ Sports two months ago, expressing his concerns with the number of Jamaicans currently playing in the second tier of football in the United States. Midfielder Kevin Lambert has been playing with Phoenix Rising in the USL for the past three seasons, and he feels the league has a lot to offer. I personally do not agree because in the USL, there are, I'd say there are way more talent, way more professionalism. It's a bigger platform too, and um, I'd say it's not the same quality as the RSPL. The USL is different. You got like a lot of big name players, a lot of rising talents and stuff like that. So I personally don't agree with that. With an estimated television audience of over 90 million people, striker Dane Kelly feels the USL should not be overlooked for playing opportunities by local players. I said playing in the USL would definitely be a better opportunity than playing in the RSL of Jamaica because playing in the USL, we think you're more exposed, exposed a, lot of, a lot of coaches and coaches see you when you're playing at the USL, but when you're playing at the RSL, RSL, there's a limited amount of exposure you get, you know what I mean? Because most of the game, them not really broadcast, only like Monday night alone game broadcast from TV, but playing in the USL gives you a better exposure. TVJ Sports football analyst O'Neill 1878 Meredith feels the USL should be used to open up doors across the Atlantic. Get what Mr. Simpson was saying. Don't limit yourself, but at the same time, it's an option and an opportunity for any player looking to excel to try the USL. Because again, we have seen a number of players gone there. Corey, Corey Burke, he was at Bethlehem Steel. Where is he now? He went to Philadelphia and he's somewhere in Europe now on, on loan. So it, these days, you have to take full advantage of the opportunities as a footballer. In the meantime, it doesn't look like Jamaicans will be shying away from the league anytime soon as Andre Lewis has left Portmore United to join the Colorado Springs switchbacks while Romeo Parks has joined New Mexico United on loan from Sligo Rovers in the Irish Premier League. The average player in the USL earns a reported $30,000 a year, which works out to $2,500 a month. On average, a player in the Red Stripe Premier League pockets one-fifth of those figures. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports.